So sitting around trying to figure, you know, what am I going to talk about today? And we had the old uh, Aladdin thing come out. And I was thinking, well, I could talk about the genie. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, nah, that'd be too easy. And then, you know, I'm cruising around on the internet, looking at a couple of my favorite sites, and I see that once again, well, everyone's favorite anime, Rise of the Shield Hero, is back in the news again. And for one of the better reasons that you could ever imagine, they uh saying that the old NPCs can uh, pretty much get effed. So over on Reddit, they had a little Q&A with the business producer for the company that has the show Rising of the Shield Hero. And they asked him a lot of questions, a lot of irrelevant questions that really we don't need to talk about here. The real gist of it is over on One Angry Gamer, where they break it down. And somebody in the crowd asked him, you know, how do you deal with controversies? Well, they said, I don't know. There hasn't been any controversies regarding the series in Japan, so it's difficult to say. No shit. I mean, we already know that Japan doesn't care. They uh, have stuff like this all the time over there, but when you bring it over here, naturally, there's always some kind of controversy. What did we see with this show, right? We saw all kinds of people freaking out, saying, this show's terrible, and it's got to go. It's so problematic because of the false allegations and stuff like that. Because, you know, it's the same thing with Vic that we see, right? Allegations are damning. That's it. There is no other side. There is no questioning to this motive. That's the way it is. And then you bring a show out like this here, and of course it gets backlash, right? But people don't care because people are going to watch the anime regardless, so they just bring it out here. Of course, they'll do the same thing they did with Goblin Slayer, right? And they won't acknowledge it in any awards, but they still bring it here. They have to. Because if they don't, well, they'll just pirate it. And, you know, hey, they won't make anything on it. So they have to. But this is a great interview because he actually addresses everything that's going on over in Japan and talking about how, you know, basically saying that we're kind of uh, weak over here, which I kind of agree with. This outrage culture is terrible. And he actually talks about that here. So he responded by saying, in Japan, there is no controversy because the people over there didn't try to create outrage over a story involving fake allegations. The exact question was posted in a matter-of-fact way with the user stating that Shield Hero has quite a few controversial views. And they asked how the production team dealt with the resulting response. <laughs> and he responded by stating that in Japan, this wasn't an issue at all because there was literally nothing controversial about the show in Japan. <laughs> so just like I was saying, they sum it up really nicely here in this article, the user who had asked the question originally was taking it from the point of view of agenda-driven media outlets in the West who made the rising of the shield hero controversial. So anime viewers in the West assume that the show is controversial when in reality anyone who doesn't pay attention to media outlets would never find the show controversial, which is totally true. But for added context, what they're re referring to is that... Uh, some of the largest Western anime outlets were writing negatively about Rising of the Shield Hero. And that's, in case you don't know, the main character of the show gets accused of some stuff, which doesn't look good because he, he's falsely accused. It turns out the, the female character lied and got him in a lot of trouble. And the whole series is kind of him trying to, well, that's not the main thing, but it's a part of it, right? Him trying to deal with this and how he's treated. And I think... It brings about a lot of self-reflection on the whole, you know, guilty until proven innocent movement that's going on over here in the West that I think is ridiculous. We're literally watching a man get his life destroyed because of it right now in the industry. And, you know, it's just funny how little they care about that, right? But I find it funny that this isn't a problem over in a place like Japan, right? And they can have media like this and no one's no one's outraging about it. There's no keyboards slamming all over the place. It's uh, it's only over here in this big baby country. And uh, it's just, it's so stupid. 
<laughs> it's so dumb. But let's take a look. There's a, there was a bunch of uh, reviews. Let's take a look at the most trusted news source for anime's reviews of that, <laughs> of that, of that series. Look at these objective reviews over here. The, of course, the community score is quite high, <laughs> 4.5. But overall, James Beckett, 1.5. Then you go down here, Paul Jensen, 2.5. And then Nick Creamer, burn it and salt the earth. <laughs> okay, pal. Look, it can all be toned up in a TLDR right here. In context, S.H.I.E.L.D. Heroes premiered did every conceivable thing in its power to communicate that this was the latter case. But this author isn't just angry at women. His bitter paranoia extends to basically everything around him. Because, you know... I mean, why wouldn't you be uh, scared about that? But I don't really know if this was social commentary or not. I think they just wanted to tell a story in Japan. But look at like look at this re. <laughs> it's such terrible crap, man. But you know, Japan they don't care, as they've said time and time again. They're just gonna keep putting it out. In fact. They came out and said, nevertheless, when asked if the production team ever takes into consideration the outrage machine generated in the West when making content, something that Sword Art Online creator Reki Kawara did, and I still need to talk about that. That guy's going to make his show PC, so uh, we'll see how that works out for him over there, right? But the uh, manager for this show said, and noted that even with Western media outlets drumming up needless controversy, <laughs> they will continue to make shows that appeal to their audience, saying, We in Japan do not see these anime as controversial, so we will continue to produce more content like Shield Hero. Thank you for your support. Buying merchandise helps as well as preventing any of your friends from pirating the content. We would like to animate all of Shield Hero, but it depends on the support we get from our fans. So, as they say it so beautifully right here on One Angry Gamer, money talks, baby. Money talks. And of course, you know, looking at this headline right here, why would Anime News Network possibly not like this show i mean what could it be right here why why would they not like that show i just i'm so lost on that one aren't you i also sometimes wonder if japan knows what they're doing with this right i think of a game called kingdom come deliverance if you don't know what that is that was a controversial game that a lot of uh, websites such as polygon <laughs> which literally i don't think any real gamers work there i really don't I think it's just some people that go and read like other articles and then put an opinion based on it. But uh, they all hated Kingdom Come Deliverance. And the game sold extremely well because they stuck to their guns and said, I don't care what these NPCs are blabbering about on Twitter. I'm going to make what I wanted. And I wonder if Japan, because, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty smart when it comes to business. And I wonder if they're like, I think we can use this model to be successful over in the West because they stick to their guns. It's like they have a shield and are immune to the rage of Twitter. And it really kind of makes you wonder, you hear these mumblings about, you know, the real anime gate that they want to get rid of, you know, Japanese products and replace them with High Guardian Spice and stuff like that. Because they can make it more progressive, right? And they can control it. So sometimes I wonder if that's a real thing. You know, we've just been talking about that recently. But I've always wondered, how do they control anime? You know, they can get you to change American Western shows for what they want. But they can't touch Japan. Japan is really our last bastion because they're shielded from our media from our social media especially. So I like that response that that they gave. Money talks, right? Because it's true. And it just shows that if you like something like Shield Hero, you need to support it so that they'll keep making it. Because if the money's not there, they're not going to keep making it. you know. So do your part. But anyway, I thought this would be a fun, positive take on what's going on because we have... Uh, you know, yet again, another person over in Japan saying, uh, screw your feelings, <laughs> which, which I love. I love it. Anyway, 
I will uh, be back with another video tomorrow or maybe later today. We'll see what happens. And uh, check out the links in the description and take care.